Originally. Hello, guys. How's it going? Today we're on the podcast with my man Joe, living like Livets. You know, today we have a hot topic is going to be why 8 a.m. should be banned in college because waking up early doesn't seem like a good idea ever. I don't know about you, Joe, but when you're up late as a college student, it doesn't seem right. Yeah, I had an 8 a.m. Uh, my freshman year. Uh, it was on a Saturday, so that made it even worse. On a Saturday is too yeah. much. Saturday just gives you headaches and migraines and yeah, nothing good for the I, soul. I had to commute to Hartford, so I had to wake up probably like 7 a.m. to get ready and then be out the door by like uh, probably uh, 7:30. She so you were a commuter and after. having an 8 a.m. So yeah. how did that affect your life? Like if you had to break it down what was like the biggest impact was it like the timing showing up to class on time or was it did you get the sense that like hey how's it going but did you get the sense that the teacher was grading it harsher or you just felt more tired the professor was pretty like, what were you he feeling was pretty reasonable given that it was uh you know eight o'clock in the morning when we started class um there was a lot of like older people in my class you know so everybody kind of whatever uh I feel like a lot of my classmates, they just kind of accepted their fate. But for me personally, uh, it affected me a lot with like my um, just kind of my my social life and like my kind of like being able to like I'm not much of a morning person. So it was kind of hard for me to like really focus on all the math we were doing, mm -hmm. uh, like the pre-calculus and stuff at that hour. Well, having math just... in the morning is just even worse. Cause yeah, it's statistically proven that having math in the mornings gives you a bad is the worst like having math in the mornings is the worst that could you, you could ever have like having yeah. an english or having um you know gym or whatever the case may be for biology it's okay like it's not going to be as bad on you as if you were to have math in the morning at 8 a.m because then you have to focus up you have to realize what you're doing you have to um get yourself together which a lot of people don't want to do they want to just sleep in and they want to skip their first class which is inevitable sometimes like, right have you any have you ever skipped your class when you had the 8 a.m i i like, was that a big issue for you i or really no? a lot the big problem for me was honestly like being able to eat breakfast and getting there on time and being able to like because a lot of times i would skip breakfast because like i didn't like waking up at seven i had to like getting ready and then being out the door like sometimes i could have like maybe like a, a protein bar or granola bar but like i wasn't eating much and it was like a three hour um, it was from uh, eight to eleven, so Ooh, it was it was taxing. 11, yeah, Joe, I was usually crazy. I was usually really hungry. Let me bring up another point though. So if I were to bring up, let's say, an early start or a later start, what would you like more? So I, I know you said you're not a morning person, but would you say you do better in later classes rather than having um, all morning classes? Yeah, the way I have my schedule set up for next semester, the earliest class I have is like quarter after eleven. So that's like okay. much better for me. Um, some people would still consider it, like that might be er too early for some people, but an a.m. for me, like that's like way too much. Like I have to get up way too early. Um, a lot of the times I don't end up eating, you know. Cause yeah, because in the morning the you have no time, and yeah. when you don't eat, your brain has less function to mm -hmm. it. Like there's a survey or not a survey. There was um, a study that proves eating in the morning helps you retain information yeah, because definitely. it wakes up your mind and it makes you more aware of like what's going on you yeah. know what i mean so you're getting some type of energy some type of jewels in your system in order to be like oh wow okay this information is amazing let me actually take notes down while like in other cases when you don't eat breakfast or you don't get a good start to the day you don't get water you don't have your eyes freshened up it might be like oh wow like this class it's shot like i don't want to be yeah. here it's a terrible it's a terrible thing to do even with like because i would drink coffee and water in the morning but like even with just that and no food in my system most of the time or like a granola bar like after the first hour i was like you know my stomach's mm -hmm. grumbling like i couldn't really uh wouldn't be really that wouldn't be that good so i read this article about um the east versus west coast and starting early so it was talking about how the east coast is more driven to be up early like washington dc has the earliest um wake up time and the latest sleep time so I'm pretty sure it was about like 12, 15 a.m. is when everyone on the East Coast on average goes to bed versus on the West Coast, it was about 11.38. So just seeing that time difference is kind of mind blowing because on the left side versus the right side, having all those people, having not even all those people, just seeing like the difference. I wanted to bring up this point because I personally feel, because me traveling when I travel to Cali versus when I travel to here, 
it was a whole different environment. Like I went to Cali and everything was super relaxed. It was super down to earth. Like a lot of people smoked, they didn't care. Like not saying they didn't care, but they were so nonchalant with their attitude while people here on the East Coast are like wired. They need their coffee, like like they need they need their Dunkin', they need to get they need to get ready and they're like, All right, let's go. We're ready for action, we're ready for war, we're ready for these teachers to, to bug out on us and give us all Fs. Like while the West Coast the teachers are probably high, giving them like C pluses for not doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think the culture? Like, how do you think the culture defies like the two different sections, east or the oh, west coast? Right? Like, how do you think it is from the east to the west coast? Like, from you personally, do you have any experience with it, or like, what are your thoughts about it? I feel like there's more of like a grind culture in the east coast. Like, the west coast has like Silicon Valley, which definitely got to put the work in. But I feel like a lot of it's much more like relaxed. You know, it's more of like a liberal culture over there. Like they're more, you know, chill. There's not, you know, a lot of people like there's, I believe a lot of the big tech companies are still working from home. Um, whereas, you know, over but here, how does the tech companies affect like, well, I'm just saying like the culture, like the kind of like the, the, um, the work environment, kind of like how, uh, how everybody operates compared to here. Like it's much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's much more, um, you know. It's, it's more chill. Makes sense. I mean, that's always going to be, I feel like there's always going to be differences in no matter where you live right. and throughout like the entire world even. Like, yeah. oh, there's another thing that I saw that I read about on um, doing research that in Europe, they're uh, more likely to get more sleep than us in the U.S., which tends to get them better grades. So like the Europe culture is way different as well. Yeah, I know Spain, they have like literally like nap times carved out into their day. Yeah, like they imagine have, having a like, nap time. They go home from work and take a nap and come back. Like, well, actually Spain's culture is very different, just like any other country as well. Like North, not even North Korea, South Korea and all the Asian countries though, they sleep less than the recommended time. I believe it's like five hours from a study that I saw online. Um, and they still have the most like the, the their grades are impeccable let's just say oh, that yeah. which is very like unheard of sleeping only like five or six hours and getting the best grades that you could possibly get just seems insane to me but they also don't start at other eight. countries having different um, ways and pathways of learning and education and their type of grind for 8 a.m. Um, how do you think the average American handles an ADM class? Like, would you say, like, knowing you and your experience, right, would you say you're just like the rest? Or would you say there's, like, there's definitely some people that are early birds, of course, that, like, like to wake up early and like to get those ADMs out the way and actually, like, love learning. But on average, like, an average American, what would you say an ADM class feels like? Um, I believe, um, I believe the average of, um, of Americans, like, would probably prefer to start later or more apt to start later, like, would feel better about it. I know, like, for our high schools, I think the, the start times between, the average start times between 7 and 7.30 a.m., which, you know, I feel like a lot of, you know, we're pretty poor in all of our, like, high school, like, our science, like, exams. Oh, yeah, our funding our math, is, is terrible. Our, our English, like... We, well, we actually have pretty well-funded students, I think. Well, for science, I feel like all the science classes are not usually in the morning, which is kind of what needs to happen because a lot of students and a lot of, like, careers, I feel like depend on science, which is why if ADMs were to happen and not to get banned, then it should be a science-based course. Yeah, because I think it's more hands-on. It'll kind of... Uh, it'll be more interactive. You a little more, yeah. I, I like that because I'd much rather do a lab in the morning than like sit through a lecture or like mm. you know have to crunch numbers in math. But I don't know. We I believe it's like I believe it's fourteen thousand dollars a student is what we invest every year um, for our uh, in our education. But like I said, we're like I think we're like forty something in math. We're like in the thirties globally oh, for yeah. science. I don't think we're like English. Like we're not you know we're not doing great. And I feel like a lot of that, you know, could be attributed to early start times. Um, but I, I believe a lot of the, the reasons why we start so early is based on uh, the bus companies. But, well, the uh, bus companies also, um, they, they need to make their bread. They yeah, need to make course. their money. 
which also they need to clock their 40 hours a week, right. which is why I starting earlier gives them that time to be able to clock in the right amount of hours that they need, which is why I feel like ADMs are the only reason that they're around is because yeah. the bus companies. But there was another thing that like uh, was kind of interesting to me was that on average, like there was a survey that was taken and a graph that pointed out that um, people who start their day at 10 or 11 a.m., as their first class become um, better with retaining information. So with ADMs and retaining information is pretty difficult because you're you're, you're sleeping, yeah. like you're not awake fully. But <clears throat> when you're starting at ten or eleven, it gives your mind time to adjust, which is able to like, oh, like able to, for you to like retain the information and get better grades on tests. I, test taking is such a big thing yeah. nowadays, which people are which honestly a lot of people are bad at like there's a lot of test anxiety from yeah. all these students because of early start times and the test anxiety just come, just makes it Thank you. Mm -hmm. just, just the test anxiety i don't know just overall honestly the test anxiety for students and mental health as well like mental oh, yeah. health is very much affected with 8 a.m classes which is why late like having 8 a.m's banned is a is a hundred percent, in my opinion, should be an issue looked at more severely than what it is already. Because, I don't know, people just do things in the morning that they don't want to do mm -hmm. compared to 10, 11. But classes overall, they're, they're difficult. Like in college, you're going to have to do, you're going to have to put in effort. And putting effort in the morning compared to putting effort late at night. Like, is there an instance where... You had a better grade in a class that started later than in a class that started earlier. So let's say, like you said earlier, you, did, you went to Hartford your first year with that ADM class compared to like a class that you might have had at two. What was like the the grade discrepancies? I would use like an example um, that's just more present in my mind that I can recollect on a little better was probably last year when I had my 8 a.m. Uh, lab. Um, for anatomy and physiology and compared to my nighttime class I had mm -hmm. and I believe like by nighttime class I was just a lot more prepared I was a lot more energetic you know I had gotten you know I was able to eat throughout the day I was able to do everything I needed to do I wasn't like tired from mm -hmm. just waking up and I believe I performed a lot better in that than I did in my 8 a.m. I was always like it was a little more interactive it was nicer but like when it came down to like when we were doing quizzes for examinations, the fact that it was at eight o'clock in the morning, I had to be up at seven. But was it in was person or was it online? Yeah, because it was, you know, COVID affected a lot of this stuff. No, yeah, too. it was it was in person, and it was just like you know, kind of, I don't know, it was just it wasn't really it. Like I, I struggled a lot with like being really tired and like being able to retain stuff. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you having you on the podcast and talking about all this ADM stuff. Yeah. To sum everything up, ADM should be banned or shouldn't be banned? I believe they should be banned. All like right. at least for like compulsory things such as high school like i believe it should be you know they should start a little later and you shouldn't force somebody in college to have to take an 8 a.m like they should have a plethora of options mm. as an alternative but if we're specifically focusing on college and that topic you uh, you believe that 8 a.m should be banned yeah i believe the late like the earliest start time you should have it's probably like 9 30 10 o'clock okay well i uh, thank you joe appreciate you having of course time. Thank you. All right, my man. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back on the podcast with another special guest. You know, the one and only Hadassah, right here to the left, H-Town, as we all know it. But anyways, as I'm talking to you, we're talking about why ADM should be banned, right, in college. So from your experience being a freshman and having ADM classes, what do you think? Is it hard or is it easy? Um, so how, do, actually, how do you handle ADM classes? I actually don't have any ADM classes. But I do have 10 a.m. classes, and even though those are later classes, like as a commuter, it's still like a struggle to come here, especially on time. Like I come here at like 10:30 every day, so I miss like half my class. Oh, um, missing half the class—that's dangerous. That's that's almost failing. <laughs> but yeah. waking up early, how does that affect like, you? Like, yeah, do you seem tired throughout the day? Like even in your later classes, because you have to wake up eight, mm -hmm. so early. Would you say like sleep is mandatory for success? Like, would you say that sleeping brings you? better grades yeah i would say yes because like even though like in the other half of the class i don't really like pay attention like i'm more like like waking up for the day mm -hmm. so there's really no point in going to that class at all because i don't understand what's going on at all ever 
No. No. And there's two of them. And there's oh, not two of them. That's crazy. No. That's too much. Two classes. She's couldn't be me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So basically, what I wanted to bring up as well is like, there's an app, right? It's called. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but anyways, there's an app that tracks your sleeping habits. And out of a study of 63 people, um, it showed that a lot of people in their younger age, in the younger ages, like 19 straight into into college, straight into high school, like senior year to freshman year of college, that they have trouble waking up early. They have trouble um, focusing. They have trouble interacting with people in the morning. Do you find it harder to interact and be yourself in the morning? rather than later in the day let's say at like 12 or 1 o'clock mm -hmm. so i feel like my brain is like kind of foggy but i kind of force myself out of it like to interact with people mm -hmm. just force yourself just to be yourself be natural yeah in order to get your sleep what's a good amount of time to sleep like what what do you get on a daily of sleep because sleep affects your whole entire day and more in like to be more specific it affects classes and it affects 8 a.m right so I usually get around six, my ideal is like eight. Like I feel- Eight? But is there any, like, do you feel groggy if you sleep too much or do you think more sleep I feel helps groggy if you? I sleep over like 12 or 10. Mm. And I think it's the same amount as like sleeping like under six. Okay. So like it needs to be good balance needs to be in balance where so there was a study in North Carolina that high school student that high school students study more efficiently if they start later so you know how usually high school they start at like 7 45 7 30 you need to wake up at like 6 6 30 to get ready that's just insane but if you were to wake up later do you think your studying and your test scores would improve like how do you like your test taking now would you say you get anxiety from it or would you from waking up early and from not having the right um, preparation mm -hmm. or like what's like your mindset on that you know what's your opinion mm -hmm. well i feel like i'm conditioned to like be used to it since like like literally the pre-k like we've all waken up at that time to do tests and stuff can you um, still recognize that it's harder though would you it say it's harder. harder in the morning like when you when you're studying right you're getting the notes down in the, in the notebook and then you're looking it through well there's different types of studying but when you're going through your notes from that early morning class, let's say, and you being a commuter, which is even more pressure, uh, waking up early, would you say your notes are the best they could be when you're having your early classes at like 10, 8, 9 a.m., whatever you said? I feel like my the best notes I do is like when I have my period o'clock class because like I'm already like awake and I've already socialized and things like that. So... So your yeah. mind is already going, it's already aware yeah. of like the stuff that's going on in the day yeah. and, and you're already prepared. Rather than you know? just waking up and going to class. Okay, that makes sense. And like, there was a study shown that people drive to school, right? People drive to school for high school, college, whatever the case may be, even for work. And if you start at 8 a.m., your brain isn't fully functional yet. So it hasn't, it hasn't got the cognitive ability to um, perform at its highest level and it causes problems if you can't perform then it might be harmful for school but most importantly it's a it's a it's a risk for other people as well because on the road it said that if you wake up early and you drive to school you're sleepy you're tired you're not ready for the day so you're more likely to cause an accident and like you're more likely to um just be dangerous to society right so would you say that you've seen accidents in the morning like when you're going to high school or you're coming here you, do you see a lot of like traffic stops or a lot of people getting pulled over like is it like personally yeah well like i don't i forget which street but around southern there's like this one spot where like, everyone always has a car accident at in the morning uh-huh like the one there. right um right in front of Stu or in schwartz what street do you yeah, know like, i think it's like schwartz schwartz yeah, yeah. yeah there's always cops over there pulling people over and like having early classes and well eliminating early classes will will eliminate the bad drivers on the street and, and will ultimately also help like society because people won't be sorry to say cru in, in a gruesome way but dying mm -hmm. in a way you know what i mean and so another one thing that i wanted to say is like when i go to my 8 a.m in the morning on tuesdays and thursdays there's sometimes there's a lot of kids right sometimes there's the early birds wake up and they're ready to go but sometimes there's absolutely nobody how do you think attendance is for early classes versus later classes? I think that attendance is probably way less than later classes. But like, compared to, to your, in the morning. yeah, they want to sleep in for sure. But like you said, you have that 10 a.m. class, right? 
or 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. class, whatever it is. What about that compared to like your three that you just said? Have you ever noticed a difference in the amount of people? Um, honestly, I think it's depending on the class because I feel like everybody in my HLS 10 a.m. class goes, but in my marine studies class at 3 o'clock, I feel like a lot of people just skip it. Well, it's just, it, it based off the difficulty, correct? It's yeah, based off, off the difficulty and like major, like for example, so HLS is like kind of like a prerequisite for all nursing majors, so we all need to pass that. But like marine studies is like, who needs that if you're a nursing major? Understandable. That's understandable. But, um, oof. One other point, one other point that I wanted to bring up would be um, like mental health. You having to wake up early and like being dreadful to go to class and being super unhappy that you have like math or science in the morning. Do you think it, like early morning classes affects the mental health? Um, it could affect mental health if you had like a rough night and all you need to do is just get some rest and you like really can't because you need to do your attendance. Yeah, but like. Overall, waking up early, you don't feel drowsy or groggy yeah, in the so morning? Yeah, so the whole day could, like, you could just be in a fog. I've been in, like, a day where, like, the whole entire day is just a fog. And then I finally get to sleep, and I'm like, all I've been thinking about was sleep, and now I can't sleep. Yeah, because I've been, you just want to sleep in and not worry about nothing, but waking up for the 8 a.m. is clouding your judgment, not even clouding your judgment, making you feel some type of way. Which, me personally, I've been making the wrong decision, even with, like, talking about prior, like, the attendance and stuff. Like, you wake up with your alarm and you're like, oh, like, okay, I'm ready to start the day. Like, I want to be able to get active, like, run around, do stuff. But you wake up to your alarm and then you go right back to bed. Have you been the case of that? Have you, like, have you ever been like, ah, oh, nah, press the snooze button, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, there's been days where I'm like, I'm going to wake up early, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to do this and that, but I don't do that. And then I wake up at the complete, like, the last minute for the class, so yeah. Completely last minute. But do you, like, do you have a problem with the attendance? I, I like to ask everybody this. Do you personally, um, personally I don't have a have problem with attendance? the biggest problem with attendance because, like, I just force myself to go even if I'm late. So okay. I'll be really late and I'll be like, no, no, but I'm still going to get attendance. Like, regardless if I'm there for the class or not. You still want to be able to get that good grade in the morning. Yeah, yeah. understandable. That's, I mean, a lot of people aren't like you. I've... I've heard from a lot of other students that like they make the wrong decision, just like I said, wait, just sleeping in like in, until twelve and be like, honestly, like fuck it, like I don't want to go to class. What's one um, absence gonna do? Like one absence is gonna lead to more and more and more, which is like a whole downfall of like ADMs. And even uh, like picking your classes, right? Would you intentionally pick an ADM, or would you like? just be given to you you know what i mean so i would never ever intend to pick an adm honestly i like 10 ams um i think living on campus with 10 ams are way better okay so yeah later definitely later definitely later yeah. and would you say like being like at southern you know it's a big commuter school like commuters in the morning have a rougher time than on-campus people with adms like because yeah. of all the driving yeah because they would probably have to wake up at like 6 a.m the yeah, and that's already like crazy. You know what I mean? Like, imagine waking up at six a.m. every day just to just to go to your eight a.m. Like, that's that's insane. Yeah. But um, so what I was thinking of is when you wake up early, teachers have to wake up early too, right? So they have they have to experience the same thing we experience, which is like okay, they're adults, maybe they can handle it better than we can. But still, like if you give a teacher's attitude in the morning, which is more than likely to, because you're like, oh, like I don't care, like I just want to sit through this class, right? So they're more likely to become harsher graders. Like there's an article that I read on NPR. It's like a podcast, like just like this one that we're doing, um, talking about how teachers are more sensitive to what kids say or to what not kids, teenagers and um, young adults say, so they give them harsher grades. What, what do you, do you, have you experienced harsher grades? Have you like ever felt like the teacher gave you a grade that you didn't deserve in the morning because of like the way you talked or just the way like, yeah. you know what I mean? Just the way it is? Yeah, definitely. Like in high school, um, I had this class in the morning. It was AP literature and I would come in late every single time. It was literally like 7 a.m. And then there'd be discussions and I'm like, I could not function. And I'm just like sitting there listening to the discussion instead of like contributing to the discussion. Yeah, so, but also like, would it reflect the bad grades? Because me personally, I haven't went to my Tuesday and Thursday 8 a.m., right? It's management 300. And attendance is a big issue at Southern, but I don't know why it holds so much weight. If it didn't hold so much weight, 
it would be it would be okay because you could get the work done, right? But at any other school, because I have a, I went to another school as you know already, you arrived. Attendance mattered, but it never weighed that much on your grade. So having a grade for attendance at 8 a.m. also is a downfall because yes, people skip and people don't go, but if you don't go but you still hand in the work, you should be able to pass the class, which is what I think. And here at a smaller school, you are not able to do that because attendance costs so much and the teachers care about you. So like, I love that the teachers care, but at the end of the day, I'm the one <coughs> talk, I'm the one here for my education, not them trying to force me to get my education. So if I want to miss class, yes, I understand. But as long as I do the work, I think that's all right. I don't know. What's your viewpoint on that? You know what I mean? Like if, um, I mean, I personally, I do think that attendance is good because whenever I stop going to classes, I don't know what's going on in general, and I don't want to look at the slides, so it kind of forces me to pay attention. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on attendance. Right. I don't think it should weigh as much, but it should definitely weigh something. So yeah, they should definitely put in a grade because for it, right? people won't go at all if uh -huh. there's no like, weight on it. Yeah, you're right. There should be some, but attendance at 8 a.m. classes, stressful. It's very... It makes I'm it, it makes individuals angry. Like even like for me, it makes me mad that that shit happens, and I'm just like, okay, like why, you know, like yeah. why? Mm -hmm. So basically, what else? What also what I found is that the CDC recommends later start times for school due to health reasons. So what? The, so when I was reading that a part of the article, I was like, wow, like what could this really mean? And I read more further into it, and it's like waking up early without having nothing to eat, you know, no yeah. no bevs, nothing. No bed is crazy, but anyways, we don't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can have like a risk of like a heart problems because you're so stressed out having to like focus in the morning, or you can have neurological damage because um, you're not getting enough sleep that your body needs, and your body could physically shut down because of it, which is honestly not what anybody should ever experience and sleep paralysis is also mm -hmm. hyphened yeah. when you don't get enough sleep and that's all caused because of 8 a.m's and us wanting to go out later yes we do have a very like we do have a mental clock that could lead us to the right direction of going to bed early but what college student do you really know sleeps early you know what i mean everyone's yeah. up late because there's so much stuff going on no yeah honestly and like even <laughs> if like you weren't hanging out or like doing something per se that needs to be done to stay up late like i just stay up late because i can't go to sleep mm -hmm. so either way like I, i'm up and that affects you the next day yeah. for the morning classes yeah and like would you say there's health like do you think there's health issues like do you ever feel like i don't know that you got a cough in the morning or you're, you're sleepy or like, like, or like your fatigue or headaches, headaches? Yeah. Just straight headaches and migraines. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I thank you. I appreciate you being on this podcast. You know, it was a great time having you. Alan signing out. Hadassah. Okay, yes, bye. sir.